Hey guys, <clears throat> I thought I'd give a video uh, as an explanation as to why you need to use a pressure pot uh, whenever you may be using something like a smooth cast or a Luminlite product. Um, doesn't really matter which products you use, uh, they're both primarily urethane casting resins. And the thing with urethane uh, is that as it cures, it slightly off gases. And in that off gassing, what that means is that there's some gases created during the curing process. And those gases uh, tend to expand and create bubbles inside of the plastic. And as you can see here, um, I have a, a part uh, that I cast plastic and I let it cure at regular uh, atmosphere, regular pressure. And it foams up at the top, you get all kinds of bubbles throughout. I put it on the lathe and I even turned down the side to show you that yes, uh, the bubbles actually do go through the core of the material, they're not just on the exterior. And so this is really uh, coming pretty close to being considered a foam. That's actually one of the reasons that urethane is popular as a foam. Urethane foams are, are used a lot. Um, an example of that would be uh, the spray can of insulation that you can get at a Lowe's or Home Depot and spray it around the cracks of a window or maybe you have a crack on a garage door or something. Uh, it works on the same concept except that it's relying and depending on that foaming. This won't foam quite as much. However, if you look at comparison of an item that's put in a pressure pot to allow it to cure under pressure, this is completely void free. And what that pressure does is it takes all of the little air bubbles that expand and, and blow up inside of the urethane and pressurizes them. In the same way that that, <clears throat> that air compresses into a smaller size, the urethane resin is actually plenty strong to hold that pressure later on. So there's all kinds of little voids that are really uh, completely invisible to the human eye, almost microscopic in level, and uh, the urethane just keeps them pressurized in there. Uh, you're not going to notice surface defects from this. You get a very, very smooth, solid part. This is really strong plastic after you cast it. Um, in this case, this is a casting of uh, Smooth Cast 327. Um, <clears throat> it just happens to be one of their varietals. Uh, they make smooth cast 325, 326, and 327. The smaller numbers cure a lot faster, but they have a very short pot life. Um, the larger numbers cast uh, have it with a much longer pot life. However, they take a long time to cure. Uh, this part uh, took three and a half hours. It technically takes two to four hours, depending on the temperature in the room. Uh, whereas something like the 325, that guy right back there, uh, that can cast in like 10 to 15 minutes and you can pull it from a mold. Um, I don't represent Smooth On or anything, I just happen to utilize their products for a lot of things. So I figured I'd give a little explanation of uh, why it's important to use a pressure pot. And just in case you're curious as to what a pressure pot is or how you go about uh, getting one, this is one that I converted from a uh, Harbor Freight pressure pot for paint. Um, I just have a piece of wood on the bottom here because it's a curved bottom as you might be able to see in the light there and I don't want things tipping over when I put them in there. This just gives me a flat bottom to work with. But uh, pretty cheap. You can get these for like 99 bucks. If you have a Harbor Freight coupon you can get it for even less than that. Usually you get those 20% coupons in the mail. Um, you're able to do a whole lot with this. I mean you can cast pen blanks in these things, um, you can cast all kinds of stuff for pretty cheap. Uh, so I highly recommend if you're going to look at any of this uh, urethane plastic for casting of any sort that you're prepared to use some form of a pressure pot.